Okay, I am here on location with Liam Dunaway here in, uh, we're at Opal Beach in the Pensacola area. Uh, Liam is the key grip on this shoot that I'm on and he has this super cool like sleeper grip truck. It's a Nissan, is it an NV200? It is. Cool, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and let him give us a tour uh, of his truck. All right, so give us the grand tour. All right, well, we'll just start on the side and work around. Uh, this is a smaller market down here in Pensacola, so uh, stealthiness and flexibility is key. Uh, and I guess as you're seeing here, we've, we've built it out a little bit with some, um, some wood shelving and a false floor. So everything has a really specific place. So you got a three-quarter ply subfloor there, looks like. Yeah, exactly. But then you've got some basement storage. Right, um, so the false floor, it'll come into play in the back where the flags are stored, but this leaves just enough room for some apple boxes under here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's really what's only accessible from this side. I see. So you'd come around this side for the apple boxes. And yeah. are those nested? They like are, families? Yeah. Got an apple family in there. Every square inch counts. This is where most of the... Um, action happens um, so we've got a shelf here for sea stand storage grip arms i've got two shelves under here so i can fit uh, two medium rollers and two combo stands which okay fits well also with the overheads that i usually carry in this kit so i've got one uh, 12 by breakdown and then one six by uh, with rags and all that so that's usually enough to, to cover any. So you have a 12 by and a 6 by. Mm -hmm. You've got two combos and two medium rollers. Medium rollers. Yeah. Um, a lot of productions here in Florida are on the sandy beach, so the, the rollers aren't in play. So we'll use the combos, and really the 6 by is small enough for C stands. And then some extra storage up here for like long stock. I've got some 216s, some Duvetine gels. Um, we are outside uh, all day on this production, so I'm not carrying any lights, but I'll have uh, usually some quasar tubes up here. And then the other big cavity is for the cart, this Rubbermaid cart. Gotcha, so you've got a Rubbermaid. Yeah, and this, this plays a lot of different roles. Um, you know, sometimes I'll work as an AC down here or a second, so, you know, it'll be a, a camera cart or a DIT cart or whatever. Um, so you got some versatility built in. Yeah, yeah. Surface area is always nice to have on the sandy beach, so some department can use it. Yes. Um, and then otherwise it just acts as a shelving system uh, if I'm not using the cart so I can store lights here. Right now we've got a lot of like beach wagons to move gear around. Uh, this is basically exclusively a grip project in terms of the tools that we have because right. it's all beach, all exterior, all daylight. So it's all about modification. Yeah. Courtesies, overheads. Exactly. Yeah. Just just playing with the sun and keeping it off. The the big thing that really sold this particular van was that I had enough clearance at the bottom uh, for four by fours. So that was that yeah. was crucial. Yeah. So you've got this basement that holds all your four by four stuff. Yep. So that was the key, or the idea behind the false floor was to be able to get these in and out without having to unpack anything else. Um, so I'm able to, you know, I've got two like grip sandwiches, you know, two by threes with scrims, uh, diffusion solid, and then I've got the equivalent with uh, four by fours. And then I've also got a number of slippers, like four by four frames, and we can put on specialty things like uh, a four by four highlight is coming into play a lot on this job. Yep. Because we're just Hollywooding in some diffusion. And uh, highlight is the right balance between like spiciness and, and, and soft shadow. Yeah, the highlight, uh, it play, really, really plays well with the half soft frost that, that, you, that we've been yeah. looking at for overhead use here. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's too windy or too tight or, or, or it tight enough that you don't need the coverage of an 8x, that highlight has been coming in clutch. For sure. And you know, I mean, half soft frost is beautiful. It's probably the most commonly used diffusion on the beach here. But I, I mean, sometimes it might look too good. I've heard that from our DP today. Right, too commercial, like too modified. It's yeah, it's just it's just so soft, and it really makes everything glow, which is not always the look you want. So it looks like you could almost put a, a T in here, and you have enough room still for more for four buys. You might then find room for more two by threes or something like that under there for sure you see what i mean yeah i i think because like you got option. a lot of room or you, you could just save that for more four by stuff 
Yeah, I could, and you know, sometimes I'll even be able to fit another Pelican case in here. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, everything is malleable, and, and you know, I'm shifting roles a lot, so I, I like to keep things as flexible and adaptable as possible. Sure. I mean, you know, I, on a travel job, I haven't done this yet, but theoretically, I could just travel without the cart and use it actually as a sleeper area. Oh, right. Uh, you know, if I needed to, to camp out. The side's got um, probably the coolest mechanical feature. Um, so in order to maximize this dead space in front of the flags under the floor, we put in this um, this drawer. So I worked with a carpenter friend <laughs> um, who helped me build this. And That's these, a heavy duty drawer to hold all those yeah, bags. Yeah, so these bearings just come from like Amazon. Um, I think they're made for RV conversions like this. Okay. And I've got, this is where I keep my bags and- um, Stingers? Yeah, stingers. So, nice. Yeah, and it just, it lets me, lets me access all that space without having to like, reach out way under. It looks like you got a sky panel in there and then you got your milk crates with all your various specialty gack and clamps and all that stuff. Yeah. Your mathalinis and exactly. all that stuff. So yeah, the sky panel is just kind of part of how I pack it. It keeps things from sliding forward. And, gotcha. You know, if I, can, if I can rent it out, all the better. So it seems like this would be ideal as like, like you could park this thing anywhere, maneuver it anywhere. Um, Parking's always at a premium on shoots, it seems like. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, it's so, come in handy, like, uh, you know, for shooting at an Airbnb in a neighborhood. Uh, yeah. You just roll up and you've got a whole one ton and no one knows you're shooting a movie. Yeah. Which uh, producers appreciate. So, any quirks? Anything that you, uh, you would want to upgrade or? Yeah, I mean, if I'm, if I'm shooting something that's requiring lighting, I'm, I'm pretty much at capacity, you know, if I'm carrying right. lights and everything. So, uh, and a lot of times there will be a lot of specialty requests and I'll, you know, if I need to get gear that's not part of my normal kit, I'm really struggling to find a place to put it. Right. Um, you know, so, cause I've, I've built this for what I have and what I carry. Right. But if you needed to throw in another, another sky panel or something else. I guess the quirk would kind of be like, there's not a big upgrade path, but this is like perfect to be nimble. Yeah. You know, cause it. The more gear you carry, generally the slower everything gets. But this seems like you could, mm -hmm. you could go all over the place without wasting a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, or gas too. I mean, it's like really right. fuel efficient, which is great. Um, I think the long-term plan is like, yeah, this would play as the kind of uh, stealth package for you know a, a bigger truck. So your upgrade path would probably to get be get another, another keep this one and get another one and play them exactly. either both or one or the other depending on the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then probably make, take this down to like a three quarter ton package, you know, like sure. really slim, uh, and then have like a, a two ton or three. You ton could or also probably like depending on the show you're working on, you could fit a Fisher or something in here. Totally. Use this as the vehicle to transport the dolly. Mm -hmm.